Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel to this really really low quality video in a dark room. So this is kind of how videos are going to be now. They're going to be dark because of recent changes. Um, if you didn't know, my cat Clara passed away uh, about two weeks ago or so. We had to put her down. Um, yeah, that was really sad. But we recently got a new cat and her name is Faith. Um, we also call her Squeaky, Squeak, Squeak, uh, Kitty, Kit Kat, um, so this is what she looks like. So here's Faith, and basically, here's a short story. Um, she was, like, found with three other kittens. The kittens were really nice and healthy. They were all good. They were ready to go, but Faith was just in really bad shape. Um, she was really sick. And so when people found her, they brought her to a shelter or the Animal Humane Society and they just kind of left her there for like five days. They didn't really do anything with her. And so then um, uh, the adoptive pet shop, they um, found her, adopted her, and they did a lot of doctor work on her. She had like worms and fleas and ticks and pneumonia and they really didn't think that she'd make it. And so um, they pretty much did a lot of work on her and she's really nice and healthy um all of her fur grew back um she's really soft and really nice but the thing about her is that she is really skittish and really afraid of people i mean like if a human went through the whole thing as well if they were really sick and they were abused and stuff i would assume people would be afraid of new things, new spaces, new people, just new areas, and so she's just really skittish. You just have to be really, really calm. You can't approach her really quick. Um, on the first day, she was really scared. She just hid under the room, under the room, under the futon, and this is um, her bedroom area. Here's a tour, a really quick tour. So this is kind of where we started her off in this single room because of her spatial issues. So this is what it looks like. Um, it was just kind of this small room with a futon. Right when we got her, she ran underneath it and then she just hid under there for like three days. Um, she didn't feel comfortable coming out. Um, after a while, we got her to play with her favorite toys like the mouse one. And she would sit up here and kind of look out if the windows were open. Um, this is her bed that was given to us. That was her bed, and then this blanket, and then that little mat thing just came with her. Kind of smelled like her, just made her familiar with things. So yeah, she pretty much hid under that uh, yellowish futon thing that I explained in that clip. Um, the way we got her out was playing with this toy. Um, the people there said that she really liked to play. She actually has two of her whiskers on, I think it's her left side? I'm not certain about that. Um, it might be her right side, but two of her whiskers are broken off, and that is from her playing with a little, uh, plastic ball, and she hit her face or her whiskers against the glass, and they broke off. So she's missing two of her whiskers from playing, but we basically took one of these dangly toys and we lured her out so she'd kind of get used to the space. We'd also just sit in the room, watch TV, because there is a TV in there. We watch movies and TV, and she just kind of would sit there and come out on her own time. We had her food and water and her bed and her litter box up there to start with. Obviously, we wouldn't just leave her without that. Um, it's just not up there anymore. It's actually down in the uh, bathroom, which is right here. So this is the current bathroom setup that we have right now. As you can see, there's the litter box and the food and the water. And I think eventually we're going to end up moving the food out of um, the bathroom. And as you can see, there are two different food bowls. There is the one that's in the yellow dish and then the one that's in the white one. And so she started with the one in the yellow dish, which is the uh, Pure Vita, I think. And it looks like this. And then this is kind of the new stuff. This is the science diet, and this is the stuff that Clara used to eat. It's obviously not the same kind. I mean, it's not for, like, the older cats, but it's the same brand. And so she seems to really like that. She, um, as you can see from the picture, she actually is eating more of that than the stuff she used to. Obviously, we have both things out, so she can kind of mix and do whatever, but um, it seems like she's liking the science diet. I know you're supposed to mix them together, but we just kind of put them in two separate bowls. Um, then she also gets the wet food, 
So this is the wet food that she has. This is the Frisky Seafood Variety Pack. And obviously this isn't the best wet food for cats. I mean, it's kind of like the McDonald's of cat food. Um, but she just has been kind of getting this as like a nightly regular basis thing because when we um, when they originally got her she was really underweight and so um, this was kind of like the only thing that she'd eat in order for them to get her weight back up and so it comes in this can as you can see right here and then she gets half a can around nighttime so around like six or seven ish eight ish um, just around there and it comes in this, we put it in this little yellow bowl, as you can see from this picture, she's eaten quite a bit of it. So like I said before, she really loves to play. You can actually see in this picture the whiskers that are broken off. It is on, as you're looking at it, on the left side, but on her, it's her right side. So she got that from playing, and so these are some of her favorite toys. Um, she really likes this banana thing, it's called the Yao. It's like one of the um, most strongest catnips. And then that blue thing that's next to it is kind of like a feathery stick thing, and you can kind of hold and wave it about. So these are some of her more independent toys. This right here is a mouse and it is pink. Um, she just kind of backs it around, plays with it whenever. This right here is a pink ball. She doesn't actually like to play with this one. She likes to play with the blue one and I have no idea where that is. She probably carried it off somewhere and I just can't find it, but she likes to bat that around. When we're upstairs, we can actually hear thumping about from the kitchen. It is actually crazy. This right here is like a donut pink circle-y thing and then um, there's a ball in it and she'll like chase after the ball and then in the middle there's like a cat or not a cat a mouse that um kind of waves back and forth and she likes to try to attack that then we have these things so these are kind of like a feather on like a stick thing and it's got a rope so you can kind of drag it around and wave it above her head and stuff and she loves to play with this this involves another human person to play with but um she really likes this thing it's like a mouse that's attached to like a smaller thing and for some reason all cats kind of like it um it was gifted to us by the adopt a pet shop because lots of cats enjoy it she loves this thing she'll attack it and then this um other thing is the it's like a feather bird thing on a stick and she really likes that. That one has a bell to it and so it rings and you can kind of drag it around corners and stuff. It's just really fun. Um, they really like these. But because of her age, since she is really young, um, she has a lot more interest in the hamsters than Clara did. But Clara was pretty old um, when we had hamsters. She just really had no interest in them. And so that's why the hamsters could be downstairs and Clara wouldn't really attack them. But now that we have a younger cat who's more agile and ready to play and just attack and things, she um, is kind of prepared to attack and kill the hamsters. So now for safety precautions to keep my hamsters alive and not attacked or killed or mangled and demolished and just like attacked in general um we brought them upstairs to this new room where they are safe uh from faith so this is pretty much their room um they're pretty much going to be up here forever um the quality of videos i'd say would be better than this i mean i'm recording off an ipad just because i thought that this is kind of a newish thing that um, I don't feel like waiting a month to make and so I grabbed an iPad and make this really low quality video. Um, but pretty much, uh, they're gonna be up here. Uh, if I do like cage tours or things, I probably will bring in more light and record during the daytime because right now it's really dark out and so that doesn't really help. So I'll probably have natural lighting which will make it brighter in here so that's probably what I'll do in future reference. Hello! See, look, I'm recording off an iPad. Woo! Hello, people. Hi. Yo, what up? Stay fierce. Peace. Yo. Hi. And so, yep, that is pretty much it. So pretty much all I wanted to say in this video is that this is where the hamsters are going to be, the new accommodations. 
and just announce that we have a new pet and that is why they're up here and just kind of tell you a little bit more about here. So that's pretty much the video. If you have any more questions about the cat or about the hamsters, about how they're doing and things, um, just leave them in the comments below. I'll hopefully be able to do some more videos, but um, we'll see with the schedule. I am in lots of extracurricular activities such as a uh, jazz band and a uh, spirit band aka hip music band because that's what was advertised on the thing and I also have tennis that I just started during the off season so I can make JV next uh, season so I am relatively busy now I actually have a life and my Fridays are going to be busy because that's when I have uh, spirit band games so that's pretty much it um, if you have any more questions or you want to have videos that are requested just leave them in the comments and i'll get back to them as soon as i can so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll talk to you guys later bye